Gonna enjoy a beer today from Roadhouse Brewing in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. All right, what beers you got here? We got Family Vacation, which is our cream ale. And okay. Here we go, here we go, race day, cheers YouTube. All right, rolling out before I gotta hop in the car. Here we go. All right everyone, so I'm actually gonna put all the gear in my bag and uh, put it on at the course because I got, I got a little bit of a drive to get there, so um, that's what I'm up to. Just loading up, heading out the door. Oh man, feeling good. I didn't sleep the greatest last night, but that's okay. Just getting a little water in me. I cannot believe we get to tow the line together today. And I, oh man, I haven't been on a starting line. This is the second time all year. So thanks for coming along the journey and it's gonna be fun. And I'm just trying to live in the moment, enjoy the moment, even have fun with the moment. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I do get worked up sometimes when it, not worked up, but um, not a little, a slightly anxious at the, and I think that are nervous at a starting line, and I think that's okay. If you have nerves on a starting line, that's okay. You know, like once you start running, usually those nerves and anxiety might, usually it dissipates, at least it does for me, and so it's okay to have nerves, but at the same time, it's like, this is fun. We train so much, solo, alone, out on the trails, in the, ro in the roads, out on the track, wherever you train around the world, and so I guess it's like, just relish these moments where we're racing together as a running family around the world. Um, so anyway, that's what I keep telling myself. The reason I came up here to T the Teton Village to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, is that the Pikes Peak Ascent, my priority race number one, my peak race of 2019, at least at the beginning of the year, that was the plan, um, is in three weeks from today, race day. It's perfect timing. Like Even if it was two weeks, that would be okay, but three weeks is just perfect because then I can fully recover from this race, from this effort, and the Pikes Peak Ascent is 13 miles. Today's race is six miles. The Pikes Peak Ascent is like basically 7,500 feet of elevation climbing, uh, elevation gain, and today's uh, elevation gain is going to be 4,000. Uh, so it's just a really, really good uh, precursor and rust buster for my peak race considering I've only raced one other time in 2019, the Cookie Chase 5K, um, which went really well. I actually ended up winning that race. So, but I haven't raced in th over three months. So it's time to get the legs moving again at a, at a quicker clip, start the sharpening process for Pikes Peak and the mental sharpening uh, for Pikes Peak. And I wanna practice actually today getting off the starting line well, because I know the, the course is gonna narrow down pretty quick, so I don't wanna get stuck uh, too far back in the pack today. Uh, what else did I wanna mention? Oh yeah, so most of my training runs, as you have seen in the last two to three weeks, start at 9,000 feet and top off at 14,000. Well, today's race starts at 6,300 feet above sea level and tops off at basically 10,600, 10,700. So I'm very excited about the prospect of racing at a basically a lower elevation from what, I, what I'm used to training at uh, in Colorado. So anyway, thanks for being here. We're just cruising through some beautiful country, almost to the starting area. And I'll get you a few more shots, but I am gonna be very focused once I arrive. So you guys are the best. Let's do this, let's do this, come on. Oh, 
ladies and gentlemen, my bad, my bad. All right, I'm not gonna tell you how the race went. This clip is being filmed after the race, but I'm putting it in the vlog now to explain basically in my, uh, well, I finished the race and they had bacon and there was a lot of people up there cheering and talking and folks that watch the vlog, thanks for watching. But, ah, I saw, I did some filming with the GoPro on the railing and I, I left it, I, I left the GoPro. I don't know what's, I don't know where the GoPro's at. And of course, I carried the GoPro in the race and I got some great shots of the race, but now I don't have the GoPro. So I apologize. The vlog would have been a little more spicy, a little more fun to watch, but uh, it is, it's water under the bridge. We move on and I'm not gonna let it ruin my day. So I just wanna let you know, okay, continue the warm up into the race. Oh, I got my water. Oh, don't forget to close the front door. Boom. Okay, got my shoes in my backpack, watch, sunglasses, shorts, singlet, water again, energy gels, cameras, of course, and feeling good. All right, it's pretty neat. You can see the top of the mountain. I wasn't sure if we'd be able to, but you can definitely see where, you, where we're gonna stop up there. Number 71, there we go, we got it, we got it. All right, let's get this on. Whoa, that is quite the timing chip on the back. Okay. What's up? What's up? You watch the channel? I do. What's, what's your name? Nick. Nick and? Kalen. Kalen, good yep. to see you guys. You. you guys racing? We're not racing. You're not. I'm just put, I'm filming right now, hey. Look at these guys. Say hi to, Hello. say hi to YouTube. Hello. Where are you guys from? From Texas. Yep. Texas. Wow. And sorry, you said you're not, you're not racing. No, we're not racing. But no. you're just here in town? Yep. Visiting? Wow, I, you got, this is awesome, man. Well, th thanks for coming to uh, say hi. I'm just pinning up here and about to go warm up. I'm a little tight on time, actually. What time is it anyway? Uh, oh, eight. Crazy. Yeah. So, um, anyway, Nick. we'll see you guys after the race. Is that how, sorry, what was your names again? Nick. Nick and Kalen. Kalen. Awesome. Yep. I'll luck. try and remember, so. All right, man. We'll see you at the finish. Yeah, we could uh, cool down together. Okay. <laughs> All right. Shout out to Kalen and I think Nick from Texas. That's awesome. Thanks for saying hi. All right, I got to go warm up. I'm actually going to sign off now. I got to put this camera in the bag so I can send it to the top of the mountain on the tram. Love you. See you soon on the top of the mountain. See you. Work hard. Come on, let's go. Jackson. Keyword, Jackson. Fly the W. Woo! Fly, fly the, fly that W. That's right. Little, uh, I think we can. Uh, I think we get a steak dinner this week. Oh my God! That's right. That's right. I think. Uh, one hour, one hour and one minute, and I think second place was about two and a half minutes back, so. Oh, get on my level! Boom! We are flying that W! Fly that W! Yeah. Again. You're right, I know. Good work, man. <laughs> yeah, good job, dude. Yeah. He's the overall guy. Give him a round of applause. Ah, here we are. Uh, 
going to enjoy a beer today from Roadhouse Brewing in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. All right, what beers you got here? Nice. Want it? Did you really? Got it at one. Not, not too bad, right? <laughs> we'll take. I know. I usually don't. You know, I, I don't have a ton of beer, but oh man, I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, we're pulling over now at the Elk Mountain exit on I-80. The sun is rapidly setting, and I want to get three to four miles in my legs just to shake them out, loosen them up. I'm actually, my, uh, my right glute slash hammy kind of uh, tweaked out about 10 miles back, so it's time to shake out a little bit. And I found a dirt road. That's what I was waiting for. So right outside this wind, oh, it's going to be perfect. So here we go, Wyoming 72. Okay, let's lace it up. And bada bing, bada boom, just like that, we're back in my house. It's really late, really late. Oh, now I gotta edit, so it's gonna be a tough long run tomorrow, but we're back, we made it back safe, that's the most important part. And I will give you a race recap. Hold on, camera's falling. I will give you a race recap tomorrow. Sound good? Question of the day, who prefer, <laughs> are you an uphill? a flat lander or a downhill runner? What do you prefer in your race environment? Uphill, flat, downhill, maybe a combination of all three, that is fine too. Obviously, I love the uphill, so anyway, great day, despite losing the GoPro. And uh, yes, if you wanna dive into some more racing vlogs, they are on your screen right now. Check them out, click on those, and I think you'll have a good time in the process. All right, with that said, thanks for being here, thanks for watching, see beauty. Work hard.